Let's meet our first potential fooler of the night. So I grew up overseas in an Air Force family. That's when my love of magic started, but I didn't have any access to magic shops or magic clubs. So I would look around for anything I had around me, toy boxes, duct tape, I would just cut them open and just create what I thought magic was. Last time I was in Foolis, it was an incredible experience. <laughs> Man, a wonderful trip. Thank nice you so trip. much. Yeah. I didn't actually fool him, but my life has changed tremendously. I started to create magic for Justin Willman and David Blaine. Now, I still create the same way I did when I was a kid. I like to write and sketch my ideas down on a notebook, and I have tons of notebooks filled with ideas. So I've been working on this routine since 2015, and no one's seen it. And I believe this is perfectly designed to fool Penn and Teller. This is not a card trick. <laughs> now see, it's empty. It's just a box. Now, if this was a card trick, I guess we would all have to imagine that right now, this box is slowly filling up with cards. But this is not a card trick. It's not a card trick. This is just something we imagine. Plus, if this was a card trick, I uh, would need someone to pick a card. Allison, would you mind helping me out? Sure. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Nice to meet you. You too. Great. Now, Allison, uh, would you do me the honors of just uh, touching any one of these cards? Uh, sure. The Ace of Diamonds? Yeah. Here. Do you do me a favor and write your name really big across the face, all right? Sure. Now, the reason why magicians have people sign cards is to make that card unique. But that's not why I had her sign a card, because this is not a card trick. You good? Yeah. Awesome, you can come over here. Okay. Come over here. Do you want uh, No, you're good, good. With your left hand, could you hold onto the box? Yes. Perfect. I will take your card. Let's go ahead and mix it up a little bit. Now, Allison, if this was a card trick, and it's not, mm. <laughs> then I know two ways to find your card. The first way, without even looking. Let's see. And, uh, uh, uh. And, uh, and we'll try this one more time. This time I want you to turn your car face down. Face down. Perfect. And I want you to put it somewhere here, anywhere you want to. Okay. Up there. Right there? Here. Let's give everybody one last look. Now, Allison, uh, I've done enough card tricks to be able to estimate about where that is, I think. Yeah, it's about, yeah, cool. Which is the second way to find your card, estimation. Uh, Allison, here, hold on to the deck. Yeah. Squeeze tightly, squeeze tightly. Come and try to find the, the, your card. Let's see, it's right about there. Squeeze tightly, don't let go, squeeze, squeeze. Whoa. Now, Allison, I'll, I'll tell you what all this is about. This was not about a card trick, because this is not a card trick. This whole thing was my way to get your autograph. Yes! <laughs> Which means nothing else was real. See? Told you it wasn't a card trick. Yeah. It's an illusion. Thank you very much. My name is Marcus Eddy. Wow, Marcus Eddy! That was really fun. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad it was in a card trick. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't do that here. No. 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 Card did you create this? Yes, yes. Really? Yeah, yeah, I create all my own illusions. How long did it take you to come up with? I've been working on this for actually three years. So uh, wow. about 2015 is, is when I when I this idea started, and I've been tweaking it since then. Do you create for other magicians as well? Yes, yes. So uh, my primary, uh, I guess, uh, career would be creating for uh, magic companies, uh, t TV, film, and other magicians around the world. So. Wow. And you don't sort of feel like, well, this is my baby, and I'm giving it to other uh, magicians? No, not really, because really I, I create my own magic for myself, and I create to other people's voice. So uh, everybody has their own style, and first I learn your style, and then I can create magic to you to suit you perfectly. All right, it's time to see if Penn and Teller figured your trick out. Uh -oh. Penn, Teller! You created this? Yes, the whole thing, yes. That answers the big mystery, because that's why we didn't recognize it oh, okay. from anything. <laughs> that you created that. And you kept saying over and over again it wasn't a card trick, you know? Right. And the second half kind of was a card trick. 
<laughs> he kind of had a deck and he kind of put it in and we kind of saw that and there were a few moves that we kind of recognized a little bit and there's stuff that we've seen. That was kind of a card trick, you know? So we kind of figured out the card trick. But the beginning of the trick, that wasn't a card trick. That was an appearance. That had nothing to do with cards at all. That was an appearance. That was something that was empty, then there was something there. So I got to tell you, uh, your card trick uh, did not even slightly fool us. But that part that wasn't a card trick, that did fool us. Bad. Really bad. <laughs> Penn and Teller just got served. Do we have another fooler on tap? Find out when we come back.